Welcome to this How To Free Agent tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to match a customer payment to an invoice. So we are in Sarah's Marketing Magic, our dummy account, and Sarah has been paid by one of her customers and she would like to match that payment from the bank. Um, at the moment, when she goes in the morning, she can see that she's owed some money, so she would like to update the system. So all we're going to do is go into the main bank account. You can use this uh, drop down up here if you want to, but a, a shortcut is to just click on the name on the current account over here. Um, she knows she received the money in November. So if we have a look, we can see that there it is. Uh, she's received payment for invoice 294 from Pashton Electricals. So all we need to do is click on it. Um, it should come up. Uh, invoice receipt but in case it doesn't it's not a cash sale it's not a refund it's not anything else it is an invoice receipt um, and then in its wisdom free agent has suggested that it is luxury laundry but we know it isn't so we're going to override that and we're going to say can we have a look at all of the invoices if there's a, quite a long list of things that are overdue then all you have to do is start to type in uh, the name of the, the customer and we should be able to see that there is invoice 294 for £2,180. If you wanted to, because we know it's £2,180, we could actually type in the amount and it should pull out all of the ones at that amount. Uh, similarly, if we knew what the reference number was, we can put in invoice 294. Uh, for some reason, it still likes, it's trying to get us to do this one. Uh, but there's invoice 294. So all we do is select it and say explain transaction. It goes green. Uh, when we go back into uh, the overview, we can now hopefully see there's a lot less red because it's been paid. And when, when you have a look at the invoicing and we change this to open or overdue, we should be able to see that that, that invoice is, is no longer in the list. If we look at the paid invoices and we scroll down to 294 and we make sure that it's in the right order. <laughs> there you go. We can see that there it is and it's now showing that it was paid uh, on the date that it was paid on the bank. Uh, there might be slightly more complicated situations where a bill is not paid 100%, it's either under or overpaid, uh, sorry, an invoice is not paid 100%, it's either under or overpaid. So in that instance, I'll just show you uh, what we can do. So if we have a look down here, I've got a feeling that Mad Stacks have not paid the right amount of money for one of their invoices uh, for whatever reason. This is usually when someone may want to pay um, a payment on account to keep things going until they can afford to pay everything off in full. So if we just select this one and again uh, if we delete that and just say that this is mad we can see that there are two invoices outstanding uh, one for 1700 and one for more. Uh, because of the invoice numbers I can see that this one is an older invoice so again we can say well although it's not a full payment we do want to show that they've paid the money so we can select that invoice and explain the transaction. What it will do is, is it, will, it will use up all of that money against the invoice. But then if we wanted to go into the invoice, you can see that there's still a balance owing on that invoice of 150. Because we've partially maxed the payment, if we wanted to go into the contact information and have a look at the account history, we can see uh, that there's one invoice that's overdue. Um, and we should be able to see that there's another invoice that's overdue and there's one that's been part paid. And at the bottom, it will show us the total amount that they still owe us. And if we wanted to, to, uh, to make them aware of this, if we go into statement of account and we change this to um, cover the period where everything uh, has been over, over, overdue and we create a statement, Again, this is something where we can show them all of the payments and the invoices, um, even invoices that we've written off, um, what the balance is that they owe us as of this date. And this can be emailed straight from the software or you can download it, hand it to them, post it to them in, in uh, by post, um, just to let them know that they owe you this money. Uh, I hope that's helpful.
If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.